pull up the video of our sister Arikana, uh, who is buttressing what we've been talking about on this show. Because some people say, "Oh, they they don't talk about uh, against educated people, this and this." We are super educated. <laughs> we have so much degrees that when we start whipping it out, people are like, "Are you guys mad?" But what is the purpose of the degree or the degrees if we cannot improve the lives of our people? What is the purpose of the degree if we cannot make any uh, sustainable change that we can see? What is the purpose of degree of uh, the degrees when we are just still sitting under the colonial uh, uh, mandates? We are not looking at the future of our children. Uh, my sister is finally here. I will allow her to add. Please continue to help us to share and like. Um, we understood that if you keep hitting the uh, the like button throughout the show, it will help to remove the uh, the, the blockage that they have on this. Because right now, nobody is watching. When I know I have two devices watching and my sister is on, so you can see that they are seriously blocking. So let me allow her to add on to this show while I try to pull up the next video. Sophie, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, okay, good. So let me remove this one. Maybe not. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and say hi to our audience. No, stick up. Go on. Continue, please. Continue what you're doing. Ask her if she can hear noise behind us. Okay. If not, you hold it and I will change. Continue with what you're doing. Okay. Please. Uh, let me see. How do I meet you? Okay. Awesome. All right. So it's like she's not quite ready yet. So let me pull up the next video of our sister again, uh, stating what we've been stating that uh, the most dangerous uh the most dangerous africa is the colonized africa because a lot of us are still carry on the mandates of our colonial uh bandits <laughs> we are not letting it go we are still comfortable with taking pictures with uh, our, our whitewash jesus or uh, uh quran that's all we're doing nobody is talking about what we can do to help the indigenous peoples return back to their roots and be who God has made them to be. Um, so our brothers and sisters that have been taught overseas or even in, in our system, because it's the same people that came to teach us how to teach and we're using that teaching process to teach our people and nothing is coming out of it. Our people are continually struggling, struggling with understanding what is it that we need to do to move forward. Everybody uh, have their own ego. They think it's about them. It's about you. And we're talking about our collective well-being. That if you continue to go, oh, I'm okay. Bunch of birds flying up. And then when one gets shot down, you look around and say, oh, thank God it's not me. Let me begin to fly some more. And you're not stopping to ask, why is it that your brothers and sisters are not flying anymore? What stopped them from flying? And you are okay. You are so okay with allowing our children in 2024 to be begging you lock them up in so-called Quranic school. You, with an illiterate man that can't even wash his underwear. And people are just having kids and dumping them there. Dumping them like they, they are nothing. Yes, this morning, there's another story that uh, came out that Senegalese uh, are leaving their country in drones, even though they are drowning in the Mediterranean Sea. These people are so desperate. And if you look at the numbers, I bet it's a bunch of these children that they've dumped over some Quranic school. They don't get it to see their parents. Can you imagine leaving your parents home at the age of five? You don't get to see them until you become a drug addict and end up somewhere else. Whew, what a tragedy. Let me not get overwhelmed because there is work to be done and that work we must complete. So this is our sister again, calling out our brothers and sisters to rise up and do the right things. Rise up. Nobody is going to do it for you. African of today is an African who is colonized, educated or not. What is our education doing to us? <laughs> what have we done to undo the colonial education? Mm. I hear right here in Ghana, perfect example. 
There's not a single Kwame Nkrumah book that is required reading in the Ghanaian educational system. Whose problem is that? Most African countries, our educational system is still the colonial educational system. So what do you expect from the leaders that we have today if their education remains colonized? It is the educated who are refusing to challenge the status quo and speak on our behalf, educated or not. The you can say that again, sister, the arrest. You can say that again. You can say that again. We ought to be embarrassed, all of us. All of us that have undergone this so-called education, we should be embarrassed. And then the ones that are not educated are supposed to insist on our cultures and heritage to be taught. And you guys are sitting in silence thinking that you're going to take money and eat and then die and leave your children to suffer their own you know, it, into their own peril is what I don't understand. It's just what I don't understand. It, it's it's mind-boggling. Uh, sister, are you steady now? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, our viewers. This is Sister Queen. I'm sorry, I'm out of station. I hope I'm coming out well. <clears throat> Can you hear me well? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, sorry, have you played the, the video for the um, the children? Yes. Begging? Yes. Oh, okay. Then just continue, please. Okay. All right. Yes. Our brother so, here says a former governor of Kani State, Ganduje, who is now chairman of Nigerians the ruling party, the APC, boasted that during his tenure that the Kanu state alone has no less than 3 million alamajiris. So alamajiris are what we call those children that you just saw in the uh, previous video and the Sharia not. No less than 10 million alamajiris who can be deployed, oh my Jesus, to win presidential elections any day in Nigeria. The caliphate elite issues these children voters card PVC a case of weaponizing ignorance and poverty for the purpose of illicit outcomes. We are not surprised. We are not surprised. But what they realize is that these children, you know, we live in a global village. As hungry as they are, they see what other people are doing. They see that in China, that people are sitting in classroom trying to learn how to build the next technology that can take them to, you know, outer spaces. They see all those things. So it's not like back in the days where you can sit in your own village, you don't see anything. And where he begin Now they see it. And they will be coming for them sometime. <laughs> soon, soon enough, they will come for them. So they are no longer enough. The, if you watch that video to the uh, to the end, you will see that the young boy there was worried about buying a shoe. Before, a village person, which what consigned them and shoes. <laughs> they can use, uh, they can walk barefoot there for the rest of their lives. But this child, he said, I want a shoe. I want more. Even in the midst of his alamajiri walk, <laughs> in the midst of living in gutter, in toilet, he's saying that I want shoe. So they can't keep doing all of these things and things. For now, it's working for them, but anything has an expiration date. Soon this lifestyle, this deceit will come to an end. And we just don't know how it's going to end because like we keep saying, is this whole thing happening in that region is gunpowder waiting to explode. Where is going to damage, we don't know yet. So let's go back to our topic today. We say that the most dangerous African is the colonized African. So when you look at the waves of invasion, adoption and killings in Abuja and various areas across Nigeria, it will be criminally naive not to recognize the orchestrated escalation of the conquest onslaught. This is uh, not, uh, according to Nina's uh, uh, statement this January of 2024. So while the Western world grapples with trivial debates on unconventional marriages and indulges in the sensationalism of self-centered sexual escapades, it remains oblivious to the dire realities of food in Africa. Our struggle on the continent revolves around whether our children will live or perish, whether they will sleep uh, with full stomach or go to bed hungry. 
or whether unemployed youth will resort to desperate measures such as trekking barefooted through the desert, clinging to airplane. We have seen so many numerous uh, 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 incidents like that, clinging to uh, airplane wings or braving the perilous Mediterranean Sea to escape the ruthless onslaught of massacre and terrorism in Africa. The most disheartening first set of this situation is the complicity of certain Africans who aid the West in this neglect and cruelty against the indigenous peoples of Africa, especially in particular today, Nigeria, who we know their sovereignties and their development have been stolen, systematically plundered at the altar of Western greed and gluttony, making them unwitting accomplices in the sufferings of their people, on ending sufferings of their people. So as usual, today we'll continue to equip the indigenous peoples on the pathway to self-determination, restoration, and national healing. So when we say that we want people to understand what the issues are so that we can move forward in unison, so that when we are going forward, you understand what we're trying to do, that it's not about us anymore. This is not a, this is not a comp uh, competition going on. This is about being well informed so that we can understand what is doing us. And when yes. we understand what is doing us, we will fix it. And when mm -hmm. we fix it, we will move forward because there's work to be done. There is so much work to be done. So we cannot be stuck on one thing because some whoever thought that we're here to do competition is all about them. Mm -hmm. So I will pull up the PowerPoint. Why am I Thank you, that? thank you. Thank you so much. It's not about anyone, it's about our people. And this is what we try to make them understand. Because each time we say that this is what is going on, some people that have in-laws, that have friends, have colleagues, that are enemies, keep putting it as if it's about them. Meanwhile, it's not about them. It's about the dire situation that our people have found themselves in. And it has to be fixed ASAP. We cannot continue to tell stories. Imagine what is happening all over, all over, everywhere. Even people that think they are safe in their homes are not safe. Even the so-called Abuja, they are going into their homes now, their estates, to get them out. We are telling them that everybody will chalk them fast. Last, last. Nigeria will happen to everyone. And it's time for us to do what we need to do to get our people out of this dangerous situation. Yes, so the topic, like my sister has said, the most dangerous African is the colonized African. I will yield so that my sister will continue. Thank you, Sister Monet. Thank you, Sister Monet. 